Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take this animation that we created in the previous parts of this series and take it to Unreal Engine 4. But to do that, we have to take care of a few things. Well, first of all, this animation is 24 frames and it's running at 24 FPS, but we don't really want that. Now, I've only been successful at getting animations exported from Blender to Unreal Engine at 30 FPS and 30 FPS is what Unreal Engine uh, takes as the default for sampling the curves anyway. So what we really want to do is convert this to 30 FPS. I'm going to go to the animation panel and well this is our dope sheet and that's the graph editor but let's flip this around. So this can be the dope sheet and that will be our graph editor just so we can have a larger view and I'm going to use the mouse wheel to get our range into the middle like so just so we can see the whole thing and then here I can select all of these controls and view the whole thing at once now what's happening here our start frame is here right so this is frame number one and you can see the, the range that we have from 1 to 24 and this is frame 24 but we have one extra frame after that that's the second that's the repeating contact pose okay so this frame and the first frame are exact copies but we want to keep this last bit outside of our of our range so what this means is that 24 needs to be the new 30 so we're just going to move that uh, over here so all of these frames need to slide up over here for the entire animation so I'm just going to select the first frame and then okay I'll, I'll keep a mark, an eye on this this key here so that represents the frame that I need to be on 30 and then I will do S to scale and then just move this forward so it is on 30 right so there we go so this this was the key that we were moving forward and now it's on 30 and the entire animation has been moved forward now this is going to cause a new problem if you go back into layout and well let's just update the end to be 30 so because that's how that's the length of our an animation now but we have a new problem that if the whole thing has become slower that's because the frame rate is still 24 FPS, but now we have more frames, but so the whole thing just becomes slower. So we also need to go here and update the frame rate to be 30. So now we can play the animation and it is back to being normal, except that now it is at 30 FPS and at 30, 30 frames in length. To export the animation, the first thing I have to do is rename the rig to armature and this is required for it to work with unreal engine 4 if, you, if it's called anything other than armature this is not going to work okay now in animation we want to go to the dope sheet action editor and make sure that the name of our animation is selected in this drop down then back in layout we could go to object mode select the mesh shift select the armature and then do file export fbx and then select the name of our export file now we want to do only selected objects so this is needed in case you have cameras or lights or other things in the scene that are not part of the final exported character so you we want to export only the selected objects in armature we don't want to add any leaf bones we only want to add the deformed bones so this will exclude all of the control bones that we've been manipulating in the in blender so we want only the deformed bones in animation we don't want all actions we just want that one action that was selected in the dope sheet action editor we don't want any nla strips unless that's what you've been working for and we want to bake the animation baking the animation means that every every frame is going to have its own keys okay so we just select the file name export fbx then in the engine we could do import find the file open and then just import it as it is so this will get a new character into unreal engine with a new skeleton so let's open the mesh and uh, there's our new character now we could go to the skeleton for this 
uh, character and this is where it might diverge for you based on whether or not you have the UEFI script. Now if you have the UEFI script, uh, your bone hierarchy is going to look like this. In other words, it's going to match the epic skeleton exactly. But if you don't have it, if you just used Rigify, then this is going to be different. So it's still going to work, but you're going to, it won't be so easy to retarget animations onto this back and forth, but it's still going to work. But if you have the UEFI script, well, then things are considerably easier. You get a root bone and IK bones and, uh, well, it's just easier that way. Now in animation, well, there's our animation that we made in Blender. And well, it's not uh, the best animation ever made, <laughs> admittedly, but you know, making animations takes a long time. This was, this is basically what you've seen in the video. So uh, a final product might take days or even weeks of work, depending on how well you know this stuff. If you have the UEFI script, you can also export this character with Unreal Engine 4 based joint calls. But to do that, we can't export the animation itself. So we have to go to the action editor, cancel the action. So there is no animation selected. Then back in layout, we can go into pose mode and then just select all the controls and do Alt R G S to cancel everything. So it's back to the rest pose. And then we can go into object mode, go to scripting open the UEFI script so let's just give it a minute and then scroll to the end run the script back in layout make sure the rig is called armature and then in the armature data properties we can we have to make sure that the character's armature object is selected here. And at the very bottom in the UEFI script panel, this is the panel we get for running the UEFI script. At the right at the bottom, there is set original bone rule. So just click that once. And if you click this, uh, it basically breaks Blender. So we can no longer animate with this character, but we can still export it in a, in a way that is compatible with Unreal Engine 4. So select the uh, mesh then shift select the armature do the same thing export fbx this time in a different file uh, selected objects armatures no leaf bones only the deformed bones same as before uh, we don't have any animation now so none of this really matters so just export this now then in unreal engine we can just do import find the new file, do open. This time we're going to select the skeleton for the original Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. So this is the one that comes with the third person template and then do import. And then we'll just give this a minute to finish. Now do note that there is no new skeleton created this time. If we open the mesh, we can see that our mesh is now in the engine. And if we click on the skeleton, we'll see the original mannequin. Now we can change this to be our new, newly imported character or any of the other characters that have been similarly rigged with the Epic Skeleton using UEFI script in Blender. You, you have one mannequin and then it'll, it'll work for any of these meshes and the same is true for all, for all of the animations. So we can have an animation like this and we just change the mesh to be whatever uh, characters that we have rigged and it'll just work like that. Now if we want to get our own animation onto this thing we can simply find the animation that was imported with the blender based joint rolls and then retarget it onto our newly imported character or the original Unreal Engine mannequin. That's all for this video. If you want to see more videos on creating animation for games like running and jumping and other stuff, do hit the subscribe and like buttons and thanks for watching.